directions, not the bottom ones, okay? We don't have sugar-free jello. We only have jello with sugar in it like normal. So tomorrow I want you looking at the top set of directions, okay? You guys are going to be working as a lab station, and what's going to happen is you're going to have a graduated cylinder, which I don't have out here, but you know those are the tall skinny ones, and one person is going to measure out 60 milliliters of water and put it inside the beaker, okay? Good? All right. This right here is a hot plate, which means everybody will be wearing goggles, everybody will be wearing aprons. Plug the hot plate in and turn the dial clockwise. When it's on and heating, it will turn green. Okay? So that you know that it's on. I want you to only turn it up to about six. We're not trying to super boil the water, we just want to get it warm enough and a little bit of boil so that we can dissolve the jello in it, okay? When the hot plate is on, do not touch the hot plate with your hands. Do not put anything on there that is not glass, okay? Um, when the water is done boiling, so it's on my hot plate, please use with two hands these beaker tongs, okay? This, like part where it's indented, should fit tightly around the beaker. Transfer it down. Please use two hands, even my hands. Do not separate enough that it would safely go around the beaker without the possibility of dropping it, okay? While one person is doing the boiling, so steps one and two, there's going to be another um, two people, can do this at the same time, measuring out jello and um, sodium bicarbonate, which is also called washing soda. This is the reason we can't eat the jello, okay? This is the part everybody has trouble with. Number one, this is what a balance looks like. Okay, it's not a scale, it's a balance. When you come over to the labs, the first thing you'll do is you'll plug it in and you'll hit the on-off button. Okay? Here's my favorite part. Students put their way boat on and they start adding their chemicals and they stare and they add more chemicals and they stare because it's not moving and then they raise their hand. Our scale's broken. It's not working properly. I just don't know what's wrong with it. And then I'm going to look at you funny. Because there is a top on the scale that needs to be removed before you can use it. Okay? When you turn your scales on, your balance is on, it's going to turn blue. It's going to run through a bunch of numbers. R31.05, then it's going to go blank. When you see it hit 0, 0.00, that's when you can use it. Okay? If you try to weigh anything beforehand, it's not going to work. When it gets to 0.00, I'm looking now at number three. The very first um, bullet point says turn it on. Second says put the weigh boat on the balance. The weigh boats look like this. They're little plastic squares. Okay? Put it on the balance. Then it says push zero. Okay? Zero means that when you put the weigh boat on there, it's going to register the weight of the weigh boat at two grams. Do you want that as part of your 18 grams of jello? No. So you hit the zero button and now it's going to pretend like that weigh boat's not on there. Now you measure out 18 grams of jello, okay? When you measure out the 18 grams, you can take this weigh boat off, use your second weigh boat, put it on there. Should I just start measuring my washing soda and do it again? No, I need to zero out my balance again until it says zero, zero. And then I'm going to add 0.7. 0.7 grams of washing soda. It's not very much, okay? Once I've measured everything into my weigh boat, I can turn off my, my balance, I can put the top back on, and I can unplug it, okay? I'm assuming now that my water is boiled and that it's set off to the side. Step four says add 18 grams of jello to the beaker and stir using the stir plate until it's all dissolved, okay? So make sure if there's any gritty pieces you're getting them off the bottom. When that's done, slowly, okay, one person should add and another person should be stirring the washing soda a little bit at a time. If you add it all at once, it's going to bubble up everywhere. It's going to create a sticky mess. So do so slowly. Keep stirring until everything is dissolved. 
When everything is dissolved, raise your hand. I'm going to come over with a tray. The tray is going to have two Petri dishes on it. Okay? We are going to pour the jello evenly into the two Petri dishes. I'm going to let it sit overnight until um, Thursday afternoon. Okay? You will need to make sure that you wipe your way boats off with a dry paper towel, please, because we can use them again. They're not bad. Okay? These will go on the tray. You'll see exactly where all the other way boats are. Clean off using water and a paper towel your stir rod. And using water and paper towel, make sure you clean all of the jello out that may have started to um, solidify on the bottom of your beaker. We'll put everything on the carts. Everything will have a specific spot. The balances will stay at the lab stations. I will deal with those after class. Um, once I have checked your lab station that's clean, you can go back to your desk. All right? Yes. Okay. That is all.